What's up creatives, Seb here. Today we have a highly requested video and it's all about how to get the best Premiere Pro export settings for your videos and more specifically, the best Premiere Pro export settings for your YouTube videos in 2021, as well as the best export settings for Instagram Reels and TikTok. And of course, there's gonna be different export settings depending on the platform you're using. And to make life a whole lot easier, I'm including my export settings in the description down below. So you can go ahead and download those for free. But I recommend you watch the entire video just so I can show you the sequence settings depending on which platform you're using it for. So then you can get the highest quality possible. Possible. Now just before we get started, if you are new here, welcome. My name's Seb, if this channel is all about videography, video editing and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content, so if it does sound interesting to you, then do consider subscribing if you haven't already. But now that I've gone all of that out of the way, let's continue with the video and head over to the editing desk. Alright everyone, so welcome to the editing desk. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the YouTube export settings and then we're going to do the Instagram Reels and TikTok. So go ahead and open up Premiere Pro and then you'll have your timelines. The first thing you want to do before exporting your video is make sure you have the correct sequence settings first. So once you've created a sequence, you can just head over to the sequence button here, click on sequence settings, and then you can customize it here further. So here you can see that I have a 4K timeline, so 30, 80, 40 by 21, 60. So this is a 4K timeline. And the reason why you want to be using 4K for YouTube is just how the bitrate settings work on YouTube. If you're exporting the video in 4K, you'll have way more bitrate, so your quality will be a lot better. Once you set your frame size to the 4K sequence, make sure you have pixels as your aspect ratio. Make sure you have the correct FPS for what you're shooting with. So I'm shooting on a Sony at 25 FPS. So I'm gonna make sure that my timeline is at 25 frames. Once you've modified these settings, then everything else is just default. You can press okay. And you can also save this as a preset. So whenever you go to create a new sequence, you can just click 4K if you've named it 4K, and then you have a 4K sequence. Once you have the correct sequence settings, just press Control M or go to file export media and then from here we're going to change all of our export settings to so keep your format to h.264 and then do match source high bitrate if you have downloaded the presets then you can import the presets right here so this is the two pass 4k youtube with audio so i'm just going to scroll through this just so you can keep it all the same as me so your width and height is the 4k sequence we're going to keep scrolling down until we get to encode settings you don't have to change this but it just exports it a little bit faster do software encoding high and 5.2 then keep scrolling down until you get to your bitrate settings you want to make sure that it's vbr 2 pass and then you'll do your target bitrate to 50 and then your maximum bitrate to 80. so what this means basically your target bitrate is going to be your constant frame so like a talking shot is always going to be a constant bitrate then the maximum bitrate is going to be essential when you have heavy effects in your video for example like moving stuff motion graphics and all of those sort of titles so as to have a bit more room to play with when you're exporting your video from here you're done for the video setting just go to your audio make sure your AAC 48,000 stereo and then your bitrate settings is 320 then go to your effects and then we'll have a special setting right here so YouTube doesn't cap your audio so make sure you select loudness normalization select your loudness standard as ITU BS and then your target loudness as minus 14 tolerance zero and then max true peak minus one and then you're completely done all you have to do is check maximum render quality and then press export and then you have the best export settings for your YouTube videos. So now the YouTube export settings are done, we're now going to do the Instagram Reels and TikTok. So same thing, open up a sequence and then make sure you go to your sequence settings and just modify it so you have the correct stuff. So once again, I'm shooting at 25 FPS, for your horizontal size at 1080 and then your vertical size at 1920. So you have a nine by 16 aspect ratio. And then all of this, you can just keep it as default. That's what I do. Press OK and then we're going to press Control M once again to get to our export settings. Once again, if you have downloaded the presets, then you can just click on it reels and tiktok vertical video and then what we're going to do is just scroll through the settings just so you can make sure you have the correct settings if you're doing it manually so your basic video settings is going to be 1080 by 1920 this time we have selected the render at maximum depth we didn't do that for the youtube one but we are going to want to do this for the instagram reels and tiktok scroll down to your encoding settings so we're going to do software encoding high 5.1 Keep scrolling until we get to the bitrate setting. So it's gonna be VBR two pass once again, but this time it's gonna be set to eight and eight. And then that's done for the video settings. The audio is the exact same, 48,000 stereo, and then 320 for your audio. Same thing with the effects. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the loudness normalization, ITU BS minus 14, zero and minus one. So it's very similar stuff to the YouTube one. And then once again, we're gonna select the use maximum render quality, press export, and then you're done. So one last thing before we finish the video, if you've modified any of these settings with the presets that you've installed, 
or that you've just done it completely manually, you can actually save this as a preset. So click on this button right here. You can then give it a name and then do save effects and save publishing settings. And then next time you go to export, you just click on preset, scroll all the way up, and then you'll have your presets right here. Now that I've shown you everything you need to know on Premiere Pro, let's head over to the other camera and finish off the video. So those are the best Premiere Pro export settings for your videos in 2021, whether it's for YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Remember, you can download my export settings in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.